Evening, welcome to the Barrel House. We got a special treat tonight, I guess late afternoon. This is coming out. Sit down, watch some basketball, watch whatever, check out a movie, do this first. Pour yourself a good bourbon. Tonight, we are doing Blanton's Gold versus Blanton's single, they're all single barrels, Blanton's store pick. So we got a Blanton's Gold 700 milliliter bottle and then normal 750. This is just a store pick locally, and this is a gold from Japan. Um, check out the short if you haven't. This is a really good drinker, and I have never opened this one. I've had regular blends, but I've never had store pick blends. So I'm kind of excited about it. We're gonna do them blind. So we'll have the resident mixologist in here in a few minutes. I will go ahead and pour these um, where they go. I'm gonna make sure I have, yep, the gold with that. So I'm gonna pour both of them and then uh, take a quick break and then we are gonna, they'll be all mixed up. We're gonna do a blind, see which one's better. What do you think? Um, I don't know if I'll be able to tell the proof difference and I'm pretty excited about it. So let's see what happens. There is gold in them there, hills of Colorado. And let's check it out. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the Blanton's gold. Okay. Now I gotta do a cork pop peel this off real quick. Let's just move it right over here. Oh, there we go. That was kind of cool. Oh, look, the metal ring, the wax disappeared. So here we go. Let's do the cork pop for this one. Ready? Uh, okay. Wasn't awesome. So I'm going to pour that to about level. Okay. Looks right. All right. They are ready to go. Here comes the mixologist to mix them all up. And we will see you in a minute to review the blind and who is the winner. So we're gonna check it out. And uh, I label them with, I wanna show this. So any of you out there doing channels or watching bourbon and want something kind of fun, um, I'm not saying mine, but I got this and there's no sponsor here, but I got this new pen to write down and log all my bourbons, what I think and flavor, cause I'm old school, I'm not gonna do it on the computer. I wanna write it down. So this says Barrel House on it. And this is just a beautiful, like twin oak, light oak, and then it says Barrel House right there, and it's a pen. So these are really cool. And then for helping, if you're looking to flavor profiles and everything as you're tasting stuff, I highly recommend getting your Bourbon Whiskey Tasting Journal right there. And uh, once again, I just got this online, and it has your wheel. And it talks all about everything that you can find on here. You go with wood, talks about the wood, you can do the grain, the spice, then you go sweet, so are, is it like, you know, is it chocolate, or is it is it just baking spice, or candied, is it, you know, butterscotch, or vanilla, you got, so it talks all about the wheel, it shows the colors, this is really cool, and then inside, I'll just show real quick, you write down your bourbon and everything about it, year, and the works, and this is really awesome, so I'd highly recommend it, uh, log everything you're tasting, and have fun with it, so here we go. We're gonna start on the left, and I don't know which one's which, so. And they're probably gonna smell fairly similar, so. Wow, this has got a really sweet smell to it. This is a, almost a, a vanilla, a slight light caramel maybe? Mmm, light baking spice. Mmm, that, that's got a nice, that's got a nice nose. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm picking up spice, baking, slight baking spice, a little bit of vanilla, light oak. Because uh, the Blanton's is mash bill number two, which if you haven't watched the videos, please do. Um, I don't have mash two, but I've got mash one. I did the white dogs. All about how you make your own bourbon, step by step. Look at that color. That color is awesome. These have turned out amazing. You can see this over here to the right. This is, <laughs> this is gonna be BH, a24 so this is barrel house batch a 2024 i am going to do a batch b we might as well talk about it for a second a batch b that will be out in may um and then do three more white dogs with a different toasted oak then i will do batch c that will come out in december that will have dark toasted and light toasted together and we're going to see which one's better at the end of the year i will also be doing some 750s of some other stuff Check out my how to make bourbon videos. Simple and easy, have fun with it, do it with friends, give them as gifts, it's awesome. So here we go. Mm. Boy, that is so smooth. 
that's just a light vanilla, light baking spice. There's a little bit of oak there. I'm not getting a ton of fruit, just a lot of baking spice and vanilla. I would say a real light chocolate um, and just that nice little rye finish. Now I'm getting a little bit of, yeah, I'm still tasting the vanilla late and maybe um, slight maybe peaches. Ooh, that's, that's really good. Oh no, where's my favorite water? All right, gotta get my 10 cup water bottle. Cleanse the palate, here we go. I hope you like my uh, fancy uh, glasses here. These things are so much fun. So I gotta cover the label, you guys might have seen that one. Similar nose. That one's slightly different for sure. I'm getting the vanilla and the light oak. I'm getting a little bit of, a little bit of chocolate, some baking spice. Also, really, really good. This one is a little warmer, so I don't know if that means it's the gold. They're both super smooth. I'm gonna do one palette change. I knew this would be hard because it's gold and it's a, it's a store pick and the store picks are usually rock solid, but let's try this again. Mm, 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 mm. That is so, that's clean. That's really clean and smooth all the way through. So I'm thinking this might be the lower proof. This might be the regular blends, but it is rock solid. This store pick is absolutely fantastic. You're just getting a vanilla light baking spice. I'm not getting a lot more flavors. It's just a little bit more, just kind of vanilla oak spice, basic, um, smooth session. So let's go back to this one. baking spice wow I can't I can't guess I can't pick a winner that's crazy that um, this the store pick is is uh, battling with the gold wow I don't know which one to pick I love them both this one's a little bit smoother a little bit more chocolate tiny bit more going on I'm picking the one on the left and it is the gold. Bland's gold is the winner, but it was close. It was just smoother all the way through. You could taste some, a little bit of uh, like a dark chocolate, an earthy chocolate, and you had the baking spice, slight, slight peach. This one is really, really good. Um, it was crazy, because I was guessing the other way for a second, because this one is a little more bitey, and just slightly, and, um, maybe not quite as smooth, and this one's almost 10 proof higher. So they're both fantastic. If you can find a single barrel of Blanton's, get it. The Blanton's Gold is your winner, winner, chicken dinner, because there's gold in them there hills. And we got ourselves a pot of gold. One a shelf, one a glass. Find yourself a Blanton's if you can. Oh, by the way, last, last shot. If you can't, and you can find a John J. Bowman, get yourself a John J. Bowman single barrel out of Virginia. This is uses Bland's juice, ages it in their own oak barrels. It's a little cheaper than Bland's. Um, it comes and goes. It's uh, sometimes you can find it, sometimes you can't. And uh, if not, I don't have one right now, but get a Bladen boat. I think that's a poor man's Bland's. It's, it's around $45, $50. It's really smooth. It's out of Sitzer Weller and um, give that a try. Uh, cheers, everybody.